Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officer, 
Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. I need to drag myself out that window. carry with these cuffs off. The officer's shotgun is over there. Officer? Anybody? Oh, 
fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Help! Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Is there anybody here? I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. 